So today's question is if bald men have more testosterone. And this is a question I've received a few times, and I'm assuming maybe even from bald men, but I'm not sure. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and the answer to this question is yes, no, and it depends, but let me expand on this. First, what's the cause of hair loss and balding, especially in men, but also in women? Well, genetics plays a big role, of course, as I've stated many times in previous videos. However, hormones also play a big role in the way you look and feel, especially when it comes to balding. And there are many factors that cause hair loss, okay? It's not just one or two, but one of the biggest ones is basically hormonal imbalances, as well as receptor sensitivity and inflammation and so forth. But yes, genetics aside, probably the number one cause of hair loss is hormonal imbalance, and it mainly has to do with male androgens, male hormones, which is primarily testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. Before I get into all that scientific stuff, let's look at things logically. Teenagers and guys in their 20s have the highest testosterone levels typically, while older men past the age of 40 and 50 and so forth have probably the lowest levels. So if testosterone is the cause of hair loss, then one would assume that all the guys in their 20s would be bald and yet it starts much later in life when testosterone levels actually begin to drop, you know, past the age of 30, 40, and 50, and so forth. One reason for the hair loss as we get older is that the, the testosterone that we have gets more converted to and reduced to DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Thus, over time, testosterone slowly lowers and dihydrotestosterone slowly increases. And DHT is very active at the skin and prostate and thus these two areas get it worse, you know, have all the negative side effects. Basically you start balding, you start having more body hair and your prostate grows. Now let's take a look at this picture with three men. The two men on the left have basically no DHT at all. They're pseudohermaphrodites. They lack the 5-alpha reductase enzyme that converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. While the guy on the right is just a regular guy and has both testosterone and DHT. While what's interesting is that the two guys on the left that have no DHT have more muscle and a full head of hair, zero recession, okay? While the guy on the right who has regular testosterone and DHT has actually less muscle and has the receding hairline at the temples. Thus, balding men usually have lower testosterone levels, but typically higher DHT levels because of the conversion, and this is compared to like when they were younger. To simplify the whole thing, when you're young, your testosterone is high, DHT is low, you have all the cool effects, more muscle, better libido, less hair problems. Then as you get older, testosterone drops, DHT goes higher, and now you start to lose muscle, and then at the same time have prostate and hair loss problems. Now this is why taking DHT inhibiting drugs such as finasteride or proscar and dudasteride, also known as Avidart, help with hair loss and prostate problems. Unfortunately, they have lots of negative side effects, including impotence and depression. What's interesting is if you blocked or lowered all male hormones, testosterone and DHT, basically castrating yourself, then hair loss just stops and even reverses assuming you haven't been bald for years and years and years. Obviously, you don't want to castrate yourself. This last point is that DHT is probably one of the worst hormones for the scalp and one of the biggest causes of hair loss. However, even if you have really high levels of testosterone, like when you're taking steroids or high dose testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, HRT, and so forth, you can still have hair loss, even if you block the DHT with Proscar and Finasteride and so forth. And this is because testosterone can still bind to the hair follicles and cause them to shrink. It's just not nearly as strong or as powerful or as bad as DHT. So what's the best solution for you to still have high libido and basically not castrate yourself? You have good sex drive, you feel good, you have more muscle and less belly fat, while also reducing your chances of balding? Well, you want to naturally increase your testosterone levels within that normal range at the higher levels. You also want to naturally decrease DHT levels within still the normal range, unlike taking Propecia, which lowers it too much. And you want to naturally decrease excess levels of additional hormones, which is estrogens and stress hormones like cortisol. What you do not want to do is kill off 
all your DHT or all your testosterone levels. Basically, you don't want to castrate yourself like some drugs can do and then just for you to have a full head of hair. It's not worth it. So let's do it naturally. Now, I've listed one of my favorite solutions for optimizing your hormones below in the description area. One of the side benefits is better prostate health and better hair growth, in addition to having higher testosterone levels, sex drive, libido. Additionally, I've listed a couple more videos about today's subject, about hair loss and so forth. 